Sweet. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our stream. What's cracking? In? As you hey. can see, there is no Dom today. We have our animator, Brian. Wait, Star Wolf says almost there. Is there some, are we almost almost here? Oh, it's for, oh technical. Yes, we had te technical issues, but Eric saved the day because he's Eric. So, uh, so yeah, we brought Brian on because Brian collects all sorts of cool retro consoles and arcade stuff. Yeah. So, <laughs> what? Uh, tell tell them what you brought on today. Uh, today I brought a uh, well, it's it's an it's a Nintendo NES, but um, it's the kind of more of a high end uh, clone of the NES. Um, uh, it does like HDMI output, and so it's a lot easier to, to get on stream and for us to set up without having to deal with any other devices in between. So you have you have the a regular one, right, yeah, too, and I you have, have this just for you have like a replica <laughs> just for purposes like this. Exactly, and like <laughs> parties, and you know, if I'm just bringing it over because I you know, you know I don't want to bring my original consoles right, right, right. over to like my friend's place, and you know, they get their all their grimy hands on it. And, you know, like, <laughs> I keep my stuff in pristine uh, areas of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Wolf says, I has NES on up through current consoles, all three main houses. Holy oh, wow. crap. Wow, we got to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I, <Yeah>. have, uh, <laughs> I have a PS3 and a PS4, and that's it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I, I kept all my consoles up to um, basically around, I stopped, I stopped keeping my, my uh, 3D consoles. Like, like uh, uh, except for Dreamcast, but um, PlayStation One, Two, and Three, I got rid of. Uh, I still have my P PlayStation Four for new games, but um, for the most part, I, I still like I still have my old Atari. Um, I, I have a Vectrex. Console, yeah, is that the I thing you in. brought? It, he brought yeah. in the other. So every Friday we have a Beer Friday where we have taps in our kitchen and we turn on the taps. So he brings in this ancient. <laughs> ancient <laughs> ancient game uh, for probably most of the people watching it was probably developed before a lot of people were born it was it was it came out the year that I was born oh really and that was in the 70s oh, <laughs> so, not, yeah see it was one of it was definitely an, a, a very retro console yeah it's um, actually, I think it was like the first consumer console um, it came with a monitor and a, and, a, and a controller, and you just plugged it in and played. You didn't have to worry about a TV or... It was cool, because, yeah, it's like a little box that has a screen in it, and uh, it's like a little portable TV. Yep. And uh, we played... What was the game that we played? We were we trying to do the moon landing? Moon lander. Oh, it's yeah. literally called moon landing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which is a clone of a, an Atari arcade game called Lunar Lander. L Lunar lander. But it has a little bit better features for the, for the Vectrex. And the best feature of the Vectrex is the uh, the gels. <laughs> <laughs> you get to change the color of what you're playing. It comes with a packet of gels, so you can put on the blue screen gel. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so old fashioned. It's awesome. It's like a black and white screen where you just put these overlays on top to get <laughs> to get color. <laughs> so, oh, Eric's telling me my hair is in the way of the mic. He, he, too bad he can't see him doing this, yeah, his that mime. That actually very nice. <laughs> <laughs> see, I had an Atari long ago, but her closet collapsed and killed it. Oh. And that'll do it. Thank you, Vision Ze Zevo, for hosting us. Oh, some ghost. I actually, I, I lied. I, I still have my GameCube as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I kept my dream, Dreamcast and GameCube, but I only kept the Game, GameCube because uh, I still like to play some of my old Game Boy Advance games. And the GameCube, you know, you can... You can play the, the Game Boy games on the, the Game Boy Player and put it on your TV, and it's nice. Do you have an ROB? I don't. I don't. Uh, those things, like, broke down so easily back in the day. Um, Do you have an ROB, Star Wolf? Is this a loaded question? <laughs> Do you have <laughs> So the ROB was the little, like, um, it was the, the robot, the NES robot. You've probably okay. seen it in the, the ads. Um, yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, awesome. <laughs> mine still <laughs> works. <laughs> yeah, I only have ever had. I had a Super Nintendo. Um, it died. Someone killed it. Um, I loved the Super Nintendo. And yeah. then the only other console was the. We went to PlayStation, and I don't know what happened to it. I have no idea. Yeah. Right. It probably died. My mom had a tendency to kill our <laughs> PlayStation. If she's watching. She's gonna get so bad. But she. We also had a. We had a um, Xbox for a minute, and then she was playing. I think it was Red Dead Redemption, and she called one day, and she's like, it won't work. What's this red ring mean? Oh, like, God damn it, God. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, like, that's another reason why I kept all my old consoles, because 
for Xbox 360, I've replaced that thing three times. I've had three red rings of death. Wow. I've replaced my PS3 twice. And I like, at some point, I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Um, I'm going to play games on PC. You know, um, all the games, all the good games are usually, they usually eventually come out to PC anyways. So um, I figured, you know, why keep around these, these like, this failing hardware? <laughs> but my, my Nintendos, so I have multiple versions of the NES. I've got um, the, the, you know, brick looking one. Right. Um, that was the one I had. And then there's the smaller version, which uh, is kind of a top loader. So the brick one, I think they call it the toaster, and the, the smaller one is the top loader. Um, so I've got that. Even though you load toast from the top? Right. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't <laughs> think that through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I, have, I have two versions of the Super, Nin Super Nintendo. There's a Super Nintendo Junior, which is like a smaller version that came out at the end of the Super Nintendo cycle. And I've got the original Super Nintendo, which I keep in complete in this box, and I don't even touch that. That's that sits on the. the How shelf. do you keep your kid away from all this stuff? Oh, this is this is the, this is new. <laughs> so, I was gonna say because yeah. she's young, right? She's young, yeah. So right <laughs> so now she doesn't climb to and grab stuff. <laughs> but when she sees me playing games, like she'll come over and want to grab my my controller. So I I give her a controller, and you know we sit there, and <laughs> push buttons. Wait, we have a power glove and virtual boy for life. Um, yeah. <laughs> Virtual Boy, oh my god, that thing was so hard to play. You get neck neck spasms and neck craning, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but you also have some old, like, arcade-style games, right? right? So, uh, I guess, like, last time I, I was on the stream, I mentioned that, you know, I, I grew up in the arcades, and um, uh, I, when I got to about, tw when I was about 20, uh, maybe about 20, 22, um, I started collecting arcade cabinets, um, and not really collecting them, but it, it was more just to I'd, lo I'd love to I love to restore them. I, you know, I tear them down and I you know build them back up, make it look like brand new. Um, and so I kind of I've had like multiple arcade machines throughout throughout my my hobby life. Um, and right now I've 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 settled on three machines. Um, I was up to five at one point, but um, actually. I was up to six. I had five stand-ups and one cocktail machine, one of the, the sit-down. The sit-down, yeah. Yeah, with the glass on top. Mm -hmm. um, so, but now I'm, I'm down to three. I've got a uh, original Donkey Kong Jr., um, which I'm still kind of restoring. I've got a original Robotron, uh, but a very rare Robotron Cabaret, which is kind of like a it's it's a smaller size cabinet that mm. fits really well in like apartments and stuff. Uh, that one is like super rare because it's there's only there was only like a finite number that was made for those and not many places had it. Um, and then I, I have this uh, sit down Japanese cabinet that you see in a lot of like um, uh, boba places or um, uh, like e cafes. There's mm -hmm. the sit down white cabinets, uh, fiberglass cabinets with the 29 inch CRT. It's like this massive CRT, <laughs> <laughs> nice. huge scan lines. <laughs> Starwolf wants to come over and play all the arcade. I know I'm trying to get him to like bring one to the studio, but I think that would be quite an undertaking. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I wouldn't mind. I mean, we'll, we'll we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so you brought a game today. Well, right. the game that you brought though is a new game, right? Yes. So tell them about the game and its history. So this game is uh, it's called Micro Mages. Um, it was it's it was created this year. Um, so it's a brand new Nintendo game from 20, <laughs> 2019. It's, Pretty crazy. Hi, Captain Grisby. <laughs> sorry for the beardlessness. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, no beards. I, I can't do a beard. It's just it's just a mess when, when I try. <laughs> like, um, but yeah, uh, the uh, indie developers. I think it was made by three or four guys um, out of uh, Germany. Um, they they created this game for the NES. They made this game is is pretty crazy. Like it doesn't look like it, it looks like an advanced quality of, of an NES, NES game. They, they did some really awesome optimization tricks, um, trying to fit more, more sprites and more artwork on the screen. Um, they've got some really cool, uh, kind of more modern day mechanics. Mm -hmm. um, when people play it, they, 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 see, they say it's kind of like, like, you know, in the vein of like Meat Boy and, and all those like, you know, tough uh, platformers. And, um, but it's a co-op game and it's really cool. Um, and anyways, they, they, they created this game. They got it to a point where I think they, they were practically finished the game, and then they put a Kickstarter on, on it for just to help you know finish production and, and then be able to distribute and, 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 and actually create um, real NES carts. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm waiting for my, my copy. They, 
once the Kickstarter was done, they, they sent out the di digital download, oh, so, so I was yeah, able to run this off the di digital. Yeah. But you'll get the actual cartridge? But I'll actually get an actual cartridge with a box <laughs> and an instruction manual so like, rad. from back in the day. <laughs> so. oh, awesome. Oh, Crispy, because all the bearded people had actual work to do today, <laughs> and the people that couldn't grow beards could come on today. Yeah. So don't worry, next week you'll get a beard back, I'm sure. That's what the whiskey's for, right? <laughs> put, put hair on your we're face. We're trying to grow a beard in real time. Like, uh, let's see, Eric just asked, is it their own engine? Do you know? I believe so, yeah. I believe they, 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 um, they wrote it up from, what's assembly code, I think is the, the thing that you, you code in for, for the old consoles. Um, and yeah, it's like, it's, it's a brilliant, I think it's a brilliant game. I've only cool. got to play it a couple times, but it, it, it shines with multiplayer. Like it's more of a like, you know, party type game. Cool. Well, we'll have. Well, should we put it on? Sure. Get at it. <laughs> should we cheers first? Oh yeah, cheers. Yeah. And crispy says Salut. actual work. You guys don't need actual work. <laughs> no, we wish. So we we do. <laughs> we desperately do. <laughs> All right. Hold the start button. Um, I brought in these like little wireless NES controllers because you know we are in 2019 now. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's got to be Bluetooth. Okay, so I think I'm... All right, hit back to game. Start. No? Oh, this has... The blue light's on in mine. Oh, see, so you've oh, got there yours. We go. Okay. okay. Yeah, you, have, you have the player one. Oh, okay, yeah. So two players. Oh, no password. There we go. But yeah, this game is super oh, cute. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they look like little Jawas. Yeah. <laughs> <It's like poutine. laughs> uh, yeah. So you can shoot. You can charge up your shot for a super shot. Uh, how There's do you do a that? Uh, you know the sh shoot button. Hold the shoot button and oh, charge. You, okay. um, you can wall jump, wall climb like this. Um, I'm, I'm sucking, I can't climb. Why can't I get up? So hit towards the, the wall. Go. Yeah, there see how you can like grind. There you go. Oh. So we said, do any of these characters in this game have beards? I don't know, they probably do under their little hoods. They definitely do. They definitely yeah. do. <laughs> Jawas I mean, have beards. If you're a mage, you should, you should probably have a beard. This is true. Let's see. Oh, look at all the stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh my god, I want to go Bird home guy. and boot up my NES now. They do look like Jawas, so cute. <laughs> Girls don't play video games. <laughs> Wait, why do I have... Oh, I'm looking at the wrong person. A feather makes me float or fly momentarily. Yeah, so there's a waypoint right there, which is nice. Um, yeah, when, when Eric and I were, were testing this to make sure this was all working properly, I... I was slaughtered. I, I had stopped paying attention, and the, <laughs> the uh, floor rose up to, to get me. Oh. Uh. And it was a, a little bit bloodier than these classic games usually and were. <laughs> I love the style of this art. This art, though, like it's it's you know they're going for that kind of dark dungeony look. Well, it reminds me of the like the second. Was, is it the second level in Mario where you're down in the dungeon? Oh yeah. Yeah, like it reminds me of that whole look. The, the pipe tunnel. <laughs> right. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Looks Castlevania-ish. Star Wolf says. Yeah. It's a beauty. Um, one of the things I found out is you can. Uh, oh, let's see here. You can charge up your shot. And then if you jump, you can actually gain some more height from shooting downwards, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, so do you do, do you search out a lot of stuff on games on Kickstarter? I do. Yeah. Um, I like I like the Kickstarter angle because of the uh, you know kind of it's mostly all like indie devs. Oh, I died. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's mostly indie indie devs that are you know just trying to get their stuff funded, and you know there's some really good gems out there. I mean. Uh, oh, hey, you're a ghost. I'm flying. I, I just realized that. Yeah. That's cool. Da, 
that's a cool thing about this game. Like, even though you're, you, you died, you still get to participate. That is totally new. But yeah, I do like I do like Kickstarter for mostly mainly that reason, just you know, supporting indies, um, and you know a lot of these games it's like two or three guys, you know, with small teams that are are you know just trying to make, put a game out there and not necessarily get rich, but you know be able to contribute and, mm -hmm. and sustain a, a, a development lifestyle. Um, oh, this one has trampolines. There we go. Were you watching when Dom and I played? Broforce, Bro Force, I did, yeah. <laughs> did you end up getting that game? I did, yeah. I picked it up. Yeah, I, it, I like that game. That's, it's got so many like cool things in there. Like, it, all the different characters. That's and... the most entertaining part is like, who, who am I going to be? Yeah. I know we were like looking up all the names and they name all the characters after like Bro is in the name. Yeah. <laughs> like, Crispy, I could play this. <laughs> So where, like, if people wanted to get this, where is it available, or is it just for the people that contributed to Kickstarter? So I believe far? they are gonna release this um, retail copies of it to uh, to the customers. Or like customers. The ones I think you have a uh, you'll, you'll have options. Um, I know for sure that they have it on Steam uh, because that was one of the options for the Kickstarter if you wanted to get it on Steam. Oh, okay. Um, so you can at least play it play it on Steam when it's when it's available. Bats. Lots Get out of here, you bats. Lacks the salmon, but it's good. It's crispy. Um. So they have this uh, they have this really cool making of uh, video where they talk about how they optimize this game and uh, are able to use a very small s set of uh, sprites and, and small small sets of, of content mm -hmm. and create like a lot of variety in, in, in their in their levels and their, and their characters. Oh, did I die? I died. Oh no, I didn't. Die. Yeah, yeah. And it was kind of neat because like they were they were talking about how they they wanted to create what? these. <laughs> oh, get up! They wanted to create these uh, um, kind of more procedurally generated uh, levels, and but they you know they, they wanted to figure out a way of, of kind of fitting as much content as you can so that you know they don't look too procedural. Um, so this is procedural. Yeah. So when we looked it up though for Twitch, mm -hmm. it had its own category already. So oh, other people are on here playing it, sweet. so it must be available. And it just came out um, last month. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's it's super new. And I, I just love the fact that people are still building homebrew games and and you know indie indie games for for these old systems that are right. like you know. Yeah. Oh, was I supposed to? I guess I was supposed to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like even you know uh, when I brought when I we mentioned that we brought that I brought in the Vectrex. Even for the Vectrex, people are still people making. People still making games for that for right ancient. Now. Yeah. Ancient <laughs> thing. It's like something you'd find Indiana Jones digging up. Like this thing was impressive. It should be in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> we were watching that last. Time. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been in an Indiana Jones mood. I've been in, I a, in a skip, Terminator mood these days. I always days. skip Temple of Doom though. Oh, I like Temple of Doom. I, I don't. It was so funny. I watched it the least because... <laughs> wait, okay, wait. I need a concentrate. Why the fuck am I not? Oh, you <laughs> these your... wings are doing more damage than... <laughs> no, jump. Oh, God. How do I... Your toes. Why? Yeah. It's, it's more of a float. <laughs> oh. Like a glider. I feel like these wings are holding me back. <laughs> um... Said no one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, that, oh, oh, that thing bones. swapped us. That, that's cool. Get up there, you orange guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Shooting everywhere but the. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm just gonna go away from you because <laughs> you're, you're gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, get out of here! <laughs> the channel dumb. Ah! <laughs> um. No, when I was younger, my mom hated the female lead in that movie so much she wouldn't really let me watch it. Oh, right. <laughs> or she just didn't want it to be on, so I could only watch the first and third ones. I was obsessed with Indiana Jones, but <laughs> I saw the second one when I was little, like once or twice, and yeah. the others I watched repeatedly. So oh, it, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was just like, well, and my boyfriend pointed out, wait a sec, she was okay. Oh, I died. The 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 female lead in the third one is a is a Nazi. And I was like, yeah. well, yeah, wait. <laughs> Mom. But she she just hated that the second one was so freaking whiny. Yeah. Oh. And what? the damsel in distress thing she was not not having. 
she was whiny and she was supposed to be like, you know, kind of, kind of too like bougie. Yeah. And, you know. <laughs> but I did like that movie, just like the the temple and and you know the like just the way it looked and the, all the themes in, in India. And right, right, right. It was pretty sweet. Okay, get out of my way. Ah. <laughs> took me Damn out you with orange you. guy. <laughs> like Princess Peach in the second Mario. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the second one. I mean, soup. they all have some some problems with the kind of white man colonizer themes that I am now starting to realize after watching them. But again, but uh, the second one in particular was pretty. Uh, not good with that stuff. Yeah. Kalima. You also had short round, which. <laughs> oh, short round was awesome, even though he was a super stereotype. I was going to say, you had, you had short round as stereotypes, you had the Indian villagers as stereotypes, and then you had a whiny damsel in distress, bougie white woman that my mom was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> you can watch the first one as much as you want because Marion kicks ass. It's all about George Lucas and his. Uh, his racial overtones. <laughs> People forget that George Lucas wrote all those movies too, because we always get so caught up on some how he feedback on screwed this. up the prequels. Yeah. But it's like, and that that's kind of it's like all he did with Star Wars. Like, no, he did Indiana, Indiana Jones and fucking Willow. <laughs> and Willow. Come on. <laughs> I've been looking for Willow's not available on any on anything, like any of the rental services, even the ones that I pay for, yeah. I can't find Willow. I've been in such a Willow mood. I want to watch Willow. I love Willow. <laughs> okay, Peck, 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 Peck. <laughs> and they just announced that they're doing a TV show. Oh, really? Ron Howard's doing it and uh, Warwick Davis has signed on. Oh, wow. So. Oh, no, oh, don't get sucked up by I the ghost. I just got sucked up oh. by the ghost. All oh, right. Do we have scan lines on? Scan lines? Yeah. <laughs> not not good for straight for streaming. I totally oh, forgot. No, it, it's the purity of the of the game ruining it with scan lines. Yeah. <laughs> Eric is a stereotype. I, <laughs> Says Captain I Crispy. Love stan uh, I love. I love. Eric lines. is a stereotype. For me, scan lines is, is it makes it authentic. <laughs> I actually still have I still have some uh, I have two CRTs at home that I that I have that I play at my old consoles on. Oh really? And and I just I, I gotta play it that way. <laughs> this is this is usually you know kind of this this isn't my preferred way of playing. Ah! Shit. Get under a rock. So speaking of Eric, I tried since Dom and, and Nathan couldn't be on. The first person I asked, of course, was Eric to see if we could do a big who is Eric reveal. And he said no. Ah, oh, get out of here. But this is more fun than just showing Eric off for an hour. <laughs> the big Eric reveal? Because everyone wants to know what Eric looks like. We only have seen, he's like the Wilson of Twitch. <laughs> Eric has the longest beard you've ever seen. <laughs> oh, we're just going to keep building this up. Yeah. Then it's going to be a letdown if we ever do show who Eric is. No, I'm a concept. Uh, That's true. Hey, I said, we, we reveal Eric, and he said, but I'm just a concept. <laughs> I can't be an actual face yeah. or a person. Captain Crispy says, you're handsome, Eric. Supposed to be my mother. Yeah. <laughs> I kept one. ROB and Duck Hunt would never work. Do you have Duck Hunt? I don't. Hunt. I forgot about I Duck Hunt. Yeah, Duck Hunt doesn't work on, any of the light games don't work on LCD because of the, the way the technology of the guns um, work. Which is why like, you know, some of the mo oh, like more modern consoles like like the Wii U and, or the Wii and the Wii U, they use, uh, they use IR um, sensors rather than like a photo transistor. Photo transistor basically just uh, reads in light values and knows when you, know, you hit something, I guess. Um, Look at this orange person Whoa. taking off on me. I, I, I keep getting shot out of the... Um, Captain Crispy says Eric is still in beta testing. <laughs> <laughs> he is still in beta testing. We'll, we'll, hopefully we'll be able to unveil him one day. 
If we do, it'll you guys won't know. We'll call him something else. And like in a year, we'll be like, can you guess which one of those was actually Eric? Damn it. <laughs> yeah, maybe he has. I, I thought you un I thought you showed a little bit of your face when he went to grab the whiskey glass. It might have just been your hand though. Have you played Fallout? No, I haven't. There's like a the, this this like mystery guy that shows up uh, sometimes as part of your perks. Um, uh, he like kind of just shows up in the middle of the battle and does some damage to people. <laughs> and Eric can be that guy. He just kind of comes out of the, middle, the corner of the screen like with his hat. <laughs> oh fuck! No! Yeah, <laughs> no fedoras. <laughs> so okay, you you don't no, you don't like fedoras and you don't like scan lines. What is going on, man? Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> construct a person from just the, the do's and don'ts of Eric, the little bits of, of info we get. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh. oh, the wings. The wings suck. I like the wings. You just gotta <laughs> use them. Use them properly. Oh, get, get on it. I did use the pipe. Oh, can I not do anything now oh, since I'm a ghost? Yeah, you can you can freeze people apparently with your shot. Not working. You're kind of still helping out. There we go. I did die. I took too long and I fell down. Oh, if you hold down, he dances. <laughs> <laughs> is this the is this the end? We're getting, getting close to the top. Let's see if we can't go down. There we go. Oh yeah, let's get the loots. How do we get the loots? How do we get up there? Maybe it's one of these uh, pipes. Yeah! I just opened it. Oh! I opened it and I got a life. Oh, hey, you're back! And I'm in the... Oh, and I didn't make it into the gate! <laughs> How did that work? <laughs> Oops. See, I bought a fedora from Disneyland when the ride first opened up. Still have it somewhere. Oh, for Indiana Jones. Oh, I used to... Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I used to dress up like Indiana Jones. I, my friends and I used to make movies when I was a kid, and there were many Indiana Jones movies. It was Indiana Jones or Star Wars movies, always. My mom... So, fun fact about my mom. She uh, She's a scenic artist and painter. And uh, now she worked for Disney, but before she worked on uh, Ghostbusters too. She was the artist that painted Vigo. Oh, nice. In Ghostbusters. Yeah. And so when she was at ILM uh, for for that, she discovered in somewhere, I don't, some hidden room, uh, the jacket, whip, and hat for Indiana Jones. And she, <laughs> she put them all on. <laughs> and she got a Polaroid. She had someone take a picture. She snuck in, she put on the whole outfit. I don't know where that picture is, but I saw it once in my life. That's pretty rad, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh, I'm shooting go. goat, goats and goblins here. I'm gonna <laughs> die. I keep falling. I can't get up the. Oh, there we go. Yeah, when I was a kid, um, my favorite movies were uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, which I, I think is a perfect movie. Yes, oh, I'm shooting you. Oops. And. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Alien and Aliens. Mm. I, mean, I couldn't, as a, when I was younger, I couldn't watch those. They scared the shit out of me. Oh, yeah. So I, I, and <laughs> I, I learned my lesson because I used to like scary stuff when I was younger. I was enticed by it, yeah. but I would have nightmares for weeks. And so I got to a certain point where I just went, you know, it's not fucking worth it. <laughs> and, and now I, I, I won't watch them because I know I will, I'm still a baby when it comes to that shit. I love horror movies. Because <laughs> I, I, I just find them hilarious. Because they're all just kind of the same, the same shtick, the same like gimmicks that they use. You know, there's always like the the, the fodder characters that you're like, oh, okay, well this character is definitely not going to make it to the end. Oh yeah, and, they're all predictable, and formulaic. Yeah. The only one that I watched really when I was younger was uh, Scream because my mom worked on it. 
Oh. So she painted a bunch of the sets in Scream, and it was not like watching a scary movie because we she'd pause it every five seconds and be like, "Oh, look at those! See those? Those are my toilets. They were, <laughs> those were brand new, clean toilets, and I had to make them look like they were shitted. Like, <laughs> see those bushes? I had to make them look green because they were dead. Like, <laughs> just all of her. Wow. Love. But like, she, there is somewhere in the bathroom scene with where she's in. Uh, the, is it at the school? Like there's bathroom stalls. Yeah. And she, my mom had to graffiti all the bathrooms and all that. And she's somewhere in one of those stalls, there's a Mimi plus Rory and a heart, which is my brother. Uh, you know, like I thought I had a pretty cool job, but your mom's job <laughs> seems pretty awesome. My mom has like she has all sorts of cool stories. Yeah. Now she works. Now she's an Imagineer, but before she was a set. Uh, set designer. Scene, or a scenic artist. Scenic artist. Set. We're, we're doing pretty good. We've got what third. Except third I keep stage? dying and I have to ghost through half the level. Yeah. <laughs> but hey, you're still you're still around. <laughs> you're still back. Star Wolf says I can't watch zombie movies at all, and I can't play scary games. Resident Evil never played that game. I suck at scary games. This is why Dom and I had to do the Alien game because we were both screaming our heads off because <laughs> we suck at them. I get scared so easily. Yeah, I, li I like the scary games. Um, when I was younger, I, I would play those. Like I remember being scared of, of playing like Tomb Raider. So was I. Yeah. I used to throw the room. I, well, I used to. I used to close my eyes and tell my mom, "Just tell me where I'm go where I need to go," because yeah. I was so afraid, like going into <laughs> some temple, that there was going to be a tiger. Oh, nice oh, save! Shit. Thank you. Oh. oh no! And then I squander it. Yeah, like I remember when I remember the first time I saw the bear in Tomb Raider, yes! I like lost my shit. And then <laughs> I wouldn't go in the water because there was some always something in the water. Yeah. Oh no, we shouldn't be on this side. We need to be on the oh. other side. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the water, the like, and and it was it wasn't like the graphics weren't that great. I think it was mostly the music. Like, well, and at the time, because I, yeah, I was scared and playing it now, like I recently went back and played that original one because you can download it. Yeah. And I'm just like, what was I freaking <laughs> out about? <laughs> this is not scary. Uh, when, I was, when I was even younger, I, my, one of my scariest, uh, uh, one of the things I was really scared of, of is, do um, you remember in Sesame Street, they had the, the, Hold on, right. the aliens? <laughs> one of the things I was really scared of. <laughs> Those aliens remember that in went, Sesame Street. Went, yep, 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 yep. And they had like the dangly arms, they're always like this. Like, <laughs> that freaked the hell out of me when I was a kid. I used to <laughs> run away from the TV. Wow. I could, I could see that actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> please go into the office. <laughs> yup, 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 yep, and just go yep, straight yep, up. Yep, yep. Like, ah, get away. <laughs> I can see that. Those are kind of creepy. <laughs> there was a show I used to watch called Eureka's Castle, and there was a couple. There were a couple characters on there that scared me. Eureka's Castle. I've never seen that one. Yep. Eric gets it. Because I forgot about that one. Yeah, Eureka's Castle. There were like some creatures down in the sewer that creeped me out. <laughs> Sewer dwellers. Yeah, That's a lot of weird shows. Yeah, I think I, I think in my teens I just started. I guess maybe because at that point I was I was getting into films more, and I just kind of started being a little little bit uh, desensitized to, to mm. horror movies, and just because like finding out like how how they pulled off some of the things or the different shots. Like Hello, Brian from Pete. Wait, things I can't <laughs> Hello, I'm Brian from Pete. What's up, James? <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we just went to an arcade convention together <laughs> in uh, Arizona. I can't. Wait. It was a whole weekend of arcade. Oh, gaming. really? You yeah. and James did? Yeah. Oh, well, not James from work, but oh. uh, another James. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it was a uh, it was like a weekend long, um, pretty much a convention in this uh, convention center uh, over like uh, probably like. 100 or maybe over 100 uh, arcade machines and pinball machines. And it was awesome. Like, you know, it was just a weekend of just gaming out some old school games. And they, uh, they even had some of the, old, the newer arcade machines like um, Killer Queen and, mm. um, you know, even some newer pinball machines um, that have been released this year, which I'm very. Uh, Come get this feather. Okay. I can't. Okay. Um, the controller's acting a little weird. Does they have the Adams Family pinball machine? Oh yeah, that was yeah, my favorite. That one's great. <laughs> that 
That, they had um, the newest one, the newest one that I played was the Black Knight, and that thing was just like, it got your adrenaline, you know, Russian. A like, pinball machine? A pinball machine. Like the music, <laughs> the epic music, and the, and then, you know, the, 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 the fear of losing your ball, and you know, it was just like, <laughs> you're just like, oh man, I'm totally into this. <laughs> but yeah, it was, it's goblins? fun. Goblins? Those are goblins. Jumping goblins. Mag hashtag magnet save. Um. One, one of my favorite pinball machines is um, it's called Black Hole, and it's cool because it's got it's got like this sort of like lower play field. So you hit the ball in, in some combination of tunnels, and then you'd have this like lower play field that you'd go into, which was like the black hole, and it would be reversed. So your flippers are like on away from you, and you'd be hitting up this way towards you and it's just this kind of like weird you know head change of huh. playing playing this game oh crap all right i'm just going in <laughs> no no nice oh, i made it but yeah that that game's uh pretty rare because it's one of the harder ones to keep working because mm. it's like just got much more it's got like extra way extra part much more parts than uh than you know your average game. Where was the convention? In uh, Arizona. It was in uh, Mesa, Mesa, ah. Arizona, right outside of uh, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. But they they have it every year. It's called ZapCon. Um, they do it every year. This was this was my second time going, and um, I, you know I have a blast. It's like a bunch of people that are into you know arcade and retro games. Right. They have uh, they have concerts of some of the like these retro uh, like they're they're like rock rock bands that do uh, covers of video, video game, game music. music yeah so this one this one band called mini bosses um, they were there and they're awesome they do a really cool rendition of like Metroid and Final Fantasy 7 music and super nerdy <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that one is California extreme yeah, yeah. I, I haven't gone to that one yet I, I definitely want to go. There's another one that's closer here too in Banning, I believe. Banning, yeah, that's that kind of by Palm Desert. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, I will. <laughs> Are you into arcade games as well, Eric? Yes. Like something else you guys found out about Eric. Yeah. Piecing together. This is like weird science. You're gonna slowly put together. And <laughs> There's so many other jokes I can make for that. <laughs> like, do, do we shower together and do I keep my clothes on? <laughs> <laughs> so I think I can freeze. Oh, did, did, yeah. did anyone see that? Did anyone see an Eric? Because he just snuck oh past. Oh my god, there, he, there they are. What? Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> this has got it on the side. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I can see Eric. They, they got these huge eyes. No, they used to scare me too, now that you say that. Like, that, <laughs> they, they could eat your soul with yeah. those gaping mouths. Those, those guys, they will they will devour your soul. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. It's like, what are you saying yep to? <laughs> yep to your demise. Yep, 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 yep. It'd be really fun to like come up with the music to go to do music for a game like this now. Yeah. Like for a Nintendo, like this you really know, simple two-bit music. A lot of uh, so that you know the chip tune scene is pretty big, and they have a lot of these chip tune artists that hook up a oh, crap. old Game Boy to their audio equipment, and they 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 author music through their Game Boy really? through, through the Game Boy sound chips. It's like that's. Oops, sorry, man. Yeah, yeah, modulating and, and all these like you know tricks that they do to, to create the sound out of the Game Boy. I wouldn't know how to do that. I, my friends and I went back when I was in a band. We used to sometimes go to uh, do these challenges where we'd like go to CVS and just get go to the kids' toy aisle or Toys R Us and get the crappiest uh, like kids instruments that we could find and then like record a song that night like <laughs> drunk and high and just like <laughs> we could only use kids instruments 
to like Fisher, we actually Fisher came, Price toys a, and yes, stuff like that? Yes, it was like only that. Fisher like, Price toys, and you had to do it in one night, record a song, and every once in a while we do these. There were some pretty badass songs that came out of it too. It was hilarious. <laughs> I think I saw a YouTube video of these guys doing like covers of like Metallica songs on, on these kids' toys. <laughs> yeah, I well, I feel like doesn't Jimmy Fallon do something like that? Does he? I, I think that he does something like that on his show with the, with the Roots and stuff like that. Quest Love. Quest Love. Yeah. I think that they, they'll like have, whenever they have like a musical artist on, sometimes they'll do. Oh no. Songs. Oh, can you no. kill the goat? Yeah, you can. Oh crap. Well, not if he kills you first. Get out of your goat. Oh! Eric's looking at more weird shit. More stuff of nightmares. Oh, look at, look at those guys. They are so freaky. You're gonna die looking at your, <laughs> your little <laughs> Sesame Street aliens. They're so freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Now I'm a ghost. So, if I get this, does that bring you back? No. Sometimes. There's something that brings you back. Yeah, right? I've gotten a, I've, I got it once in one of the chests. Okay, ghost. goats. Goats and ghosts. And goblins. And goblins. Triple G. Yeah. Like Guy Fieri's. <laughs> Triple G. Triple G. All right, we got we got the halfway point. Oh, I froze the goat. Nice. Yeah, go over there, freeze that guy. <laughs> nice. Oh, I can't shoot through the. That's not oh, fair. You can, can he can shoot through the pillar, oh, but I and can't. I got a thing that saved me. Oh, nice. You're back. Oh, and now I'm stuck on the other side. How am I supposed to get out? Now what are you supposed to do? Oh, whoa! whoa there was something in the. <laughs> Something in the walls. <laughs> oh God. Can you even do anything? Can you kill the ghost? Yeah, you can kill, you can kill them. Oh, okay. Of course you can shoot the ghost. You know. Come on. <laughs> this isn't. This isn't real life. Oh, okay. Boss time. Uh oh. Viking Santa. Viking Santa. That <laughs> doesn't make sense. Historically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch out for the lightning and oh, the barrels. Crap. Yeah, I just lost my. Got that guy. At least you can shoot the barrels. How are we supposed to? Oh, we gotta oh, get, get that there. guy. Oh. Dead. So do I have to jump on here and shoot, shoot? Oh no, I have to shoot upwards. I keep forgetting you can shoot upwards. <laughs> hey Eric. Uno mas. There we go. <laughs> I got this. You did it. Little pink mage. Jawa. Unfortunately, I think the ice is done. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, there's a little bit left. Oh, what's this? We're starting to get deeper into hell, it looks like. <laughs> With really good use of the color palette. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and if you guys remember that um, these old consoles had very limited color spectrum. So, I mean, you oh, know, being able to, to make a combination of like pixels work, work together is Pretty impressive. That's kind of the thing I, I missed. Like you know, I started my career during the 3D time, um, like oh. during like PlayStation One One days. So I, I missed out all the, the sprite game, 2D sprite game development. And I would have loved to to experience that. So what is as someone that is ignorant of a lot of video game terms? What is the what is sprite? So sprite is like a, a small uh, bitmap or a small image um, that usually is. Around like you know, uh, like really, really tiny, like a few pixels. Okay. Um, I think in Nintendo days, I think the maximum size was like 16 pixels by 16 or something like that. Like some small, small number. Right. Um, animated sprites are obviously sprites that have 
image sequences, like, you know, that's animated. But yeah, it's basically just small pixel, pixel art. Um, and, you know, you had a limited amount of palettes, colors that you, you, you worked with. Um, you know, you can only get a certain amount of fidelity, you know, out of your image images. So a lot of it had to be very uh, suggestive. Mm. But I mean, they did pretty well here. These these sprites are probably, like, just by the scan lines, these are probably like eight by eight, you know, or maybe a little bit, a little bit bigger. Um, but they get a lot of, they got a lot of like animation and and you know, and, and personality out of their yeah, characters here. Definitely. Oh, I'm back. You're back. I don't know how, but I'm back. Have you ever done I have, yeah, for fun. Um, uh, not, not just for fun. Um, I actually did did some uh, small commissions for indie developers. I worked on a, a shoot 'em up game, so I had to concept a bunch of like um, spaceships, and draw them out in pencil, and then I would scan the, scan them into the computer, reduce it all down, and then start you know um, coloring it. But it was fun. It, like the limitations are are interesting because you know you you don't have a lot to work with, so you got to kind of make it look as nice as you can with those limitations, and you know you, you can pretty some really fun stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, to give you the boundaries, you know. I think that with any creative art form, mm -hmm. I I always enjoy in writing imitations are more fun to me sometimes than just staring at a blank page. And I think that's a lot, that's kind of maybe reflects a lot of... Cam Crispy wants to know how he's able to play this game again. Um, so if you do a search for Morph Cat, Morph Cat Studios, um, they have a website that has all the information on it. I, I don't think it's available yet because it just got released on um, Kickstarter. on Kickstarter for the Kickstarter uh, um, um, campaigners, um, campaigners, uh, backers, <laughs> um, but it should be available soon, I believe. I think, so, um, sometimes Star, Star Wolf, can you see if you can find that site and we can put it in here? It's Morphcat, M-O-R-P-H-C-A-T is the name yeah. of the studio that did it, or it's just a couple you guys, right? They're a studio now. Let's, okay. you know, they got, they got a product. Let's, let's call yeah, it a studio. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I think, I think it literally was built by like two or three guys. One guy doing art, one guy doing programming, and another guy doing like the circuit boards and the, you know, the, the actual physical releases. How long would you say something like this takes to make? Um... I don't know. I mean, it really depends on the on the uh, the de developers. Like, if they right. have a clear idea of what they want to make, like, because I, I say that because, for instance, um, you know that game Celeste. I was there. You pushed me. I off. don't know how you fell down you through dick. the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but um, hmm. yeah, that game Celeste, for instance, um, they the the developers I think were just two guys, and they went to like a game jam and. Um, it was like a like a 24-hour game jam or something like that, and they, they created a really good vertical slice of Celeste, you know, in a in, in Flash, I believe it was it was mm. originally built, and then they took that and then you know kind of rolled with it and, and created a full-fledged game. And Celeste is like one of the top you know indie develop development games in the on the Switch right now. But yeah, they you know it could take for like a full-fledged project product like this. You know, it could take you know months up to a year, or whatnot. Like it depends really on on how much time you devote. Oh man, we're so oh, we were both dead. I was a ghost, so you were our only hope. Let's see, what are we doing on time? While we get players Oh, Eric's gonna play. Right. Are you coming on the screen? No. Oh. So we got three, six, four, nine, five. I wonder if this password Eric will is work. joining. Yeah, I've been copying that with passwords just in case. Okay. Micromages. Twenty nine. Three players. Eric is jo joining the game. Is Although three, six, he refuses four, five? to yeah, show three, his face. Six, four, five. Yeah. Let's go, Cyan. Eric, get in the frame now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a little blue, Jawa. Hoochie.
That's Eric. You've, you've seen him, the little yep. blue guy. He's the blue guy. Forever will be known as the little blue guy. The little... <laughs> Do you watch Arrested Development? Do you see Arrested Development? Yeah. <laughs> I just think of Tobias. You, 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 thanks. You're the blue man group. Yeah. He, Eric just, just blued himself. I should be the instigator. I should be the Yeah, you should be the bad guy. <laughs> Sounds like Eric. <laughs> Eric, <laughs> Eric is a dick. Get out of here! <laughs> Oh, this gets a little bit more chaotic when you have three players. You have three players, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, all these games are like that, right? We used to play Overcooked a lot in the studio. Oh, yeah. Well, we did that. Dom and I did that around uh, the holidays. We did like a holiday version of, uh, of Overcooked. Yeah. And yeah, it was like, uh, that game already is chaotic. I don't know what the fuck is going on most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm supposed to be doing, so it's a lot of yelling at, at each other. Each other, yeah. Which is what makes it fun. I once, I, I bought a, um, do you remember that game that I brought in called uh, Snipper Clips? Yes. So I, I brought that, I bought that game thinking that my nieces, because I, I have like six nieces and you know, um, they're all like between the ages of like eight and 15. Uh, one of them is 20, I think now. But anyways, I bought, I bought this game for them, thinking like, oh, you know, we can all play this cooperative kind of, you know, uh, puzzle game. With with nieces, girls, all, you know, bickering at each other and... and it's not working, my thing. Is, okay, it, is it acting funny? Yeah, it was acting funny for me. Oh, oh there's a, look at that, there's, that's how you, you felt. There's a hidden thing here, tricky. Um, yeah. They just just were argue, arguing throughout throughout the entire For thing. Clips? Like, yeah, like you go here, you go here. No, you go and here. You're you like, go, and you're like just we're done. Oh, okay, this was the this was the worst game to buy for them. <laughs> so apparently, they only like to play uh, competitive games against each other. Um, so you know, we ended up playing like Mario Party, uh. which is a lot a lot more competitive, and you know, you don't have to cooperate with each other right, at all. Right. <laughs> Uh, hey Eric, can we get some applause for the epic gameplay? That's from Captain Christy. Oh, <laughs> Starwolf, um, I had asked if you could maybe find the site for uh, these developers that did this game, Morph Cat, M-O-R-P-H-C-A-T, and then maybe put a link for, because uh, Crispy was asking how we can play the game, so I was going to put, damn it, there's a, I got boned. Bone. Oh shit, that was the wrong you word got to use. Well, you actually did get boned. I did, it was a literal... <laughs> Oh, oh. Yeah, um, you die. <laughs> you get in the blue pit. <laughs> but yeah, the, the developer's called Morph Cat, and we weren't sure if the game's available for the public because he he has it because he was one of the contributors to Kickstarter. Yeah. But yeah, you sent me the site before mm -hmm. we played this. And do they have two games? It looks like they had another yeah, thing up there. Yeah, they have another game, either in development or like early on. Um, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't spend much time on their site. But yeah, these guys, you know, kind of live in the glory days of the NES, making, making NES games. For me, like I, I love, I love playing. Still, I still play old games. Like I, every, every Christmas, I play uh, Secret of Mana. <laughs> um, during the holiday break, only up to the part where you save Santa, because <laughs> Santa gets captured, or he doesn't get captured. He gets he gets turned into a frost. See, that's gigas. what we should have played, because Dominic and I were trying to think of oh. you know holiday themed games and Christmas stuff. Okay, so there's Morph Cat. Um, oh, it looks like DE. Are they from Denmark. Denmark or yeah, they're, okay. I know like one of the, one of the guys is, is German. Um, Captain Crispy says, "Kids, here's a lesson: don't drink in games." <laughs> Harder than it looks, Crispy. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when you've got these jackasses jumping on you and trying <laughs> to get it's somewhere. It's, it's blue guy over here. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> That's, <not> already. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. Okay, Eric is damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I still, I you know, I, I kind of try to play like new and old games. The, the new game that I'm playing right now is Apex Legends, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm starting to get a little bit tired of because it's, it's kind of getting repetitive, um, and it's still in their season season one. 
Do you know um, when they're supposed to? Because yeah, I heard that they they do seasons. Yeah, I think this season's still going on for another month or so. Mm. Um, so how long has that been? Because when did that come out? I think it's been, been a year. No, no, no. It's been um, I think it's only been like three months. Really? Yeah. It feels a lot longer since. And then like when I'm not playing new games, I you know I play old games and. Uh, the other game is, I'm playing right now is, uh, is an, an old game that was re-released for the Switch. Um, uh, Final Fantasy VII, the, the port to the Switch, is really good. Mm. Um, they, uh, they have like this, they have a, a, a toggle speed where you can, you can go three times, you can speed up the game like th by three times. So, you know, if you didn't want to watch any of the crazy like uh, non-interactive sequences. You can do that. Um, they also have, a, they have this ability to turn off random battles so you can explore more and it really just makes the quality, quality of life uh, for the game a lot better. I'm back. Oh, so are you. The little blue jerk. Okay, guys. That's All what right. you did, you little jerk. <laughs> my favorite line from the Home Alone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mr. Knight here. Stop it! Eric! It's a you are never torch. playing. He's not allowed ever again. Oh, watch out for the knives! Damn it, there's knives. <laughs> <laughs> they just come out of the floor. Should I just die? Should no. Just no, beat go! It. Beat it! Unless you you're on it. his side. And that's, that's kind of what he was implying. He, he wanted us to die. Saboteur. I guess the bat doesn't die. Ah! <laughs> I, I still play like all the new fighting games too. So there's like Street Fighter V, and mm. Samurai Showdown's coming out soon. I'll, I'll, I'll get into that. Um, I got into Tekken 7 for a little while. Fighting games wasn't. I mean, the most I got into fighting games was playing. Uh, oh, shit, man. Was this playing is so hard. Uh, Mortal Kombat at my local pizza parlor on the uh, arcade. Yeah. Joystick thing. Could you do fatalities? No, I just pressed a bunch of buttons <laughs> and moved a bunch of shit until someone died. Yeah. I mean, I would get places. I don't know what I was doing. Like there was no <laughs> method to what I was doing. I remember, like when I when I first started dating my wife, um, she mentioned like, oh yeah, I play Street Fighter, I play Street Fighter Two. I'm like, oh really? You play Street Fighter Two? Which like scored tons of points with me, right? Right. And <laughs> so we like I think. It was like a few dates after. I was like, oh, hey, there's, you know, I got Street Fighter 2. You want, you want to play? You know, and we started playing, and she's like, this is how I play Street Fighter 2. That's me. <laughs> All right, that's what I do. It's just, just this, like, just press as many buttons as fast as you can, and yeah. something will happen. I was like, okay, I guess you play Street Fighter 2. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Eric the last man standing again? Because he's in cahoots with the, the evil knife. A uh, knight who throws knives. Who throws evil knives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good job, Eric. It's one o'clock. It's right. one o'clock. Yeah. And he, called, he calls time after he beats Get the, the password. Guy. <laughs> password 7641. Oh, 7641. <laughs> All right. Well, oh, this was, this was what fun. Do you, do you, what do you have queued up for the background? Uh, I guess we'll go with. <laughs> oh, I thought for sure you had that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought for sure you had the uh, Sesame Street. Oh, the camera's about to die. The camera's about to die. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. We will be back next Tuesday. Um, I think, actually, we might have an interview for next Tuesday. We have to make sure that they're on board with it first before I go spouting off who it would be. Maybe more, uh, more beards next week. There might be more beards. And Eric just turned us off and showed you a squirrel instead. <laughs> Um, because the camera died. <laughs> it's not turning back on. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not turning back on. All right, well, enjoy the squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we will see you guys next week. All right. Thanks, All right, bye. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> There's an air can. <laughs>